guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do the Lip Product Addict Tag and this tag was created by two of my favourite YouTubers, Amelia Liana and Essie Button and I absolutely loved watching their version so thank you guys for tagging me and I'm going to cheat my way through this because it's impossible to answer every question with just one product so let's get started. It was impossible to think of just one, but I have to mention the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very different to other lip balms because it's slightly matte and it's also a little bit gritty, so it's slightly exfoliating as well. Um, I think I've been through one tub of this and this is my second. It smells really nice, it's got really lovely kind of honey ingredients and it's definitely one of my favourite lip balms. I also have to give a mention to this lip balm. A lovely subscriber sent me this because she knew I was suffering from sore lips and it's a German product. It's called Kaufmann. Um, it's all in German. It says Kinder Cream which I think is meant for babies' bottoms but this is like the lip balm version and it's amazing stuff. I got it last week and I've been using it every day since. It's properly made my lips so soft so if you are German, lucky you for being able to get your hands on this stuff all the time. For eye catching red I'm gonna have to say the Helen E Cosmetics in Hollywood Red and I absolutely love this lipstick. I used to talk about it a lot. I think I discovered it in a glossy box and it's a completely random brand that I never hear anyone talk about but it's just the perfect true red and the formula is great. It's pretty much matte but it's not completely matte and it doesn't budge at all. I just find when I wear this it lasts all evening and I kind of treasure this lipstick. If I were to ever finish it I'd be really upset. Well, it's obvious who best luxury has to go to, and it's definitely Tom Ford. I think everyone has said Tom Ford. They are just serious luxury lipsticks. I'm very lucky. I have three. I think I was given two as a gift, and I bought one for myself. They're proper lipstick treats. The packaging is to die for. It's like this beautiful square gold and black, and it's lovely and magnetic, and it has that nice TF imprinted on the lipstick. My three favourite shades are Wild Ginger, which is a red with a nice orange undertone and I think this suits a lot of people. It suits brunettes, it suits people with like a cooler complexion, it's a really gorgeous shade. I also have Cherry Lush which is Tom Ford's like true red and this is pretty much a classic red. I think it's such a beautiful shade. This one I've been using from the back because I didn't want to ruin the TF on the front. And the last Tom Ford shade I have is Spanish Pink and this is really nice, it's something quite different to what I usually wear, it's like a really soft light pink but I think this looks really pretty especially if you have quite a dark smoky eye going on this pairs with that really well. For best drugstore I didn't pick a lipstick as such, it's more of a lip balm but I love the Revlon lip butters, you guys know I talk about them all the time. My three favourite shades are Cherry Tart which is a red and it's really easy to wear if you're just getting into red lipstick this is perfect because it's slightly sheer but still has good colour payoff. I also love Sweet Tart which is a really pretty pink and this one I find really brightens up the face and it's really nice to wear in the summer. And finally Berry Smoothie which is the one I wear the most, I've been through a couple of these now, it's just a great everyday shade and this would be really good to wear for school as well because it's just like a tinted lip balm um, and my lips but better kind of shade. Now this one's hard, I know you guys are all going to think I've chosen Syrup which is this one and it's probably my most used, there's like a tiny bit left. But although I wear this one the most, I don't think it's the most flattering on me because it's still slightly too dark. I love it because it's easy to wear, but I think the one that suits me the best is Patisserie. And this is like a nice kind of soft peachy browny pink. It's just the most easy to wear everyday shade um, and I've pretty much nearly finished this one too. This one has to go to the lipstick that started off the whole lip reaction thing about, I think it was over six months ago, it destroyed my lips, and it's a Maybelline lipstick. I think it was the 14 hour wear. It was one that Lisa Eldridge said was like her favourite ever red lipstick, so I was so excited to try it, but after using it once, it just gave my lips such, such a bad reaction, I don't know what was in it, um, so yeah, that's going to have to be my most disappointing. I'd say yes. I don't wear it as much as I would like to, but when I have the time and when I can be bothered, I really think it is worth it. I think there's only really three lip liners you need though. For a red, MAC Cherry is a great lip liner. It works with most red lipsticks and it's also really nice by itself just all over the lips. It's very long lasting. For a kind of nude lipstick, which I don't think you need to wear a liner as much, but this one's actually really nice by itself as well. I love the Charlotte Tilbury 
um, reshape and resize lip liner. It's called her Lip Cheat. And what shade is this in? Oh, I think the shade is Lip Cheat. This is a really nice, kind of easy, soft pink. And you can wear it by itself or with a lipstick. And then I love the Lipstick Queen Invisible Liner. And this is great if you have loads of different lipsticks you wear all the time and you don't want to have to buy a million lip liners. It's basically invisible, so it just leaves a wax barrier around your lips so the lipstick doesn't bleed and kind of smear all over the place and I think this is a genius idea and it does work, it's not a gimmick. For drugstore, I've recently fallen head over heels in love with the Maybelline Colour Sensational Shine Gloss. These are so nice, they're so pigmented, you'd think from like the soft shades that you, they wouldn't show up much but the colour really kind of shines through and they're so pretty, they're not sticky at all, I think they smell nice, let me smell, yeah they smell really fruity. Um, the two shades I have are 150 Pink Shock, which is very pretty, brightening, lovely summer shade. Um, I've really enjoyed wearing this one recently. And then 105 Cashmere Rose, which is a more kind of easy to wear. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, which isn't something I'd usually go for, but it does look very pretty on the lips. And I think these are really great kind of drugstore lip glosses. For something a bit more high-end, how could I not mention my old love, the Clarin Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. These are great. I've got about six different shades of these. Um, the ones I have on me now are 04, 05 and 02. These are great because they're a little bit like a lip balm, lip gloss hybrid. So they have this like foam applicator at the end and you squeeze the product out and apply it and it feels so nourishing and comfortable on the lips but it also leaves a really pretty kind of sheen of colour. And I think if you're someone who's not that into lip gloss but you want something a little bit glossy, these are really good options and they're so comfortable to wear. For something extra, I wanted to mention the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. I know that you can easily make your own lip scrub, but I loved this one. I've got a few of them flying around my bathroom and I've always loved them. They're so great. It's just a brown sugar scrub. It tastes good. You just need a tiny amount. You scrub it all over your lips and then wash it off and it really helps get rid of any dead skin, it tastes good and it makes my lips feel great. So that's everything from the Lip Product Addict tag. I'm going to tag some people below if there's anyone left who hasn't done it yet, but if any of you guys want to film it as well, please do and send me the link on Twitter. I'm so happy my lips have healed so I can get back into wearing lipstick now, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!